so happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I want to talk about this wonderful film, but I would be remiss not to ask you this, because I know we talked about The Sopranos last time you were here. It's just been announced David Chase is going to make a prequel movie to The Sopranos called The Many Saints of Newark. Is that as exciting to you as it is to me? That's already more than I knew. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know the so title. So I should have said, spoiler alert. I feel yeah, like I didn't realize. Yeah, a little late for that. <laughs> but, no, I just found out about it like everybody else. Um, it's, it's, you know, the story, I guess, of Tony's parents and uh, Uncle Junior when they were kids. So there's no baby Carmella. You don't have to you worry know, about it. You know, I put in my uh, picture and resume. That's all I can do. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> This is a wonderful film. This is, you play a high school teacher who is uh, helping an ex-student get out of jail. Right. And doing advocacy work, despite the fact that you have your own family and your own job. Uh, what, drew, what drew you to a role like this? I worked with Jay Duplass, sort of worked with him uh, uh, on a movie called Landline. We weren't in scenes together, but I met him, and he's just charming and darling and, and a sweet wonderful actor, yeah. and a fantastic actor. They said he co-wrote it and was starring in it, which was amazingly great. And then I read the script, and it's the way people really talk, and it seems to be the way people really live, and that's the kind of stuff I respond to. So That's fantastic. I know one thing that it had that you don't love is you actually had to go to Washington State to shoot it. Yes. Because you... Big challenge. You love me. being in New York, right? I, You know, I would like to say that's what it is. I think it's more that I don't like being somewhere else. <laughs> okay, gotcha. That... <laughs> I mean, I just don't like leaving home, and I have, yeah. I have a family and a life here, and it's different from when I was a little kid, and it was like, you know, pack your bag, and we're going to shoot a movie, and, right. you know, Timbuktu, and it's just, those days are gone, so. Right. You like being home. You like, like being, being in New York, and you have been in New York for a long time. Long time. Um, you, I read an interview with you, and I was thrilled to hear the way that you used to get around New York City, which is rollerblades. Oh, is yeah. this true? This for is many, true. many years. Wow, wow. Rollerblades and uh, chain smoking. Wow, that is. It really was like. A... <laughs> Seriously. I Seriously. feel like there, well, there was like a day where both of those became outlawed in New York. It was like the <laughs> same day. And it, it didn't matter to me at all, though. It took me <laughs> yeah. many years to stop it's, both of them. See, I was going to say it seems dangerous to rollerblade in New York, but if you were already smoking a cigarette, like. <laughs> You were obviously looking Some death sort of in the eyes. Some wish, yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah, now, for years I did that. And uh, a Vespa, is, yeah. a, is that active? Are you still oh, yeah, in... yeah. Okay. Uh, I use it all, I, this afternoon. I use it all the time. It's the best way to get around the city. And you're in and out of appointments. You pull between two cars, you know. It's just great. And you, uh, your kids, uh, we, uh, was there a time in your life when your kids would ride on the Vespa with you? Would you have a kid on the The back? time was, yeah, uh, this today, this afternoon. Oh, this wow. Night. Yeah. That's yeah. great. It is great. I love it. You don't go, you never get to go really fast. Right. You know? I think your kids, you must have a great relationship with your kids if they're willing to jump on the back of the Vespa with their mom. I think that's a very... <laughs> well, they don't do it willingly. <laughs> okay, <right>. gotcha. <laughs> Mind you. No, they actually well, get a Well, I just feel bad because they probably get all the cigarette smoke, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, thank I'm you. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, uh, do they, you're 13 and 10. Son's yes. 13, right? Right. Uh, acting bug? Not at all, no. Really? I don't even know if they know that's what I do. <laughs> really? You know, I just have weird hours and I come home and my, I have a lot of makeup on. But they yeah. don't ask, you know. Uh -huh. it's, uh, they saw me on a bus once and they were a little, you know, suspect, but they didn't do gotcha. it. What do, you, what, do, what do you think it is that they pursue? What are the, what are, at those ages, what do they want to be? My son wants to be a soccer star. Okay. I'm not entirely sure he won't. He's very good. Okay, that's exciting. I dare exciting. say. My daughter wants to be a uh, pop star and a veterinarian. Oh, so that's nice. There, by the time she's of age, those two things may somehow be combined. You, uh, you are a dog lover. I am a big animal lover, yeah. Uh, I, I have a dog as well. You uh, took your dog to a dog psychic. No. You didn't. That would make more sense. Okay. I spoke to a woman on the phone who was in... I'm going to say North Dakota. Okay. And I don't, I think I had to send her a picture first. Okay. And that's what we did. Oh, wait. So she, she told you what your dog was thinking off a photo? Why didn't Can you I just, just tell you? My, this dog was a little teeny dog I had rescued. Okay. And she was sick all the time. And uh, it turned out, I found out later on, that she was pregnant because she had been a mommy in a puppy mill. Right? Okay. So anyway, it was a long, ugly story. When I asked the woman, she said, wait, she's saying to me, they're taking my babies, your dog is saying. Which, she, she knew that my dog had been a mom, like, many times. It was crazy weird that this woman knew these things. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I totally bought it. Hook, yeah. Hook, sinker. <laughs> I mean, I... I didn't pay. I didn't pay anything. You did? Okay, well, now so that... So, none the wiser. I mean, so what phone is this? Bill. So, this person just is, like, running a terrible business where... <laughs> I don't think it's her business. That might just be, like, a little side thing she does. I don't know. <laughs> 
How I did you know. find her? I was at, a, at somebody's, uh, like a, I don't know, a baby shower. Uh huh. And a woman said, Oh, I know a dog psychic, and went like that. I don't know. <laughs> And there was nothing up until that point? Nothing came you up know, before I that? You know, I barely remember my children's <laughs> names, so give me a, a minute. It was something like that. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, one thing that obviously keeps you in New York is uh, when you do stuff, stage stuff here. Yeah. Um, I know you've done a lot in the past. Do you have anything coming up? Is that something you'd like to do I again? do, in fact. I'm going to be doing a play with the new group uh, in September called The True. That's and I don't exciting. even know if I'm supposed to say that yet. Oh, that's exciting. But I just did. So. There you go. Well, now yeah. it's out there. Yeah. You know who... Uh, yeah. I actually already knew about it because I talked to this woman in North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I sent her, just before I interview someone, like I sent her a picture of you. So good. She's like, I don't know about the dog, but Edie is doing a play. <laughs> that much I know. Uh, thank you so much for being back. It's always so such a pleasure to have you here.